God again. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. We can use this. We really monster food? The cage! We need the cage! We go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? A Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. coming with me. Says we should check things out over here. 
Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. <laughs> Deep freeze. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? is definitely in my top 10 fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here? You can't be serious. Okay. Farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flock in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as her leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. real well when I was a kid. I guess this sort of counts. I'm sure it's real pretty, but can we not draw its attention while I'm stuck in a flarkin' cage, please? <sighs> Does anybody have, like, a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is... Please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 
Zero point nine. Two point one. Zero point three clicks. Four point five. Zero point four clicks. Zero point five clicks. Zero point six clicks. Clicks. For the love of Lark, stop counting clicks. We could take turns to restore the virtues of Mark Sweet. Quietly. Whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. So cool. Oh, that was fast. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends! Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse.
Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. touch that dial. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. So what? Now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just Looking around, remembering things. Grandma and Grandpa. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Since I was for sure listening, I'm gonna go with Gamora's solo whatever. I am? I, I mean, I am. I've done this sort of thing a hundred times. Uh, are they serious? Guess Mostly. we're going to find out. Lane. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass. Rocket. I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be calling out what's left of you in that box. Hellbeast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen an Orthos tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. No it's not like she can chase after us with her old monster day. mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow. Look at this place. I'm in the wrong line of work. It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Good, Hellbeast! Let them hear your bestial howls! Louder, so that it echoes through this entire structure! 
<laughs> okay, okay. Don't wear out his voice before we get there. A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold. Explained the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my queen's confidence. Spare me your empty platitudes. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I say, lady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature.
It... it has a name, lady. And it talks adorable. <laughs> Quill, make it stop. <laughs> when will it reach its big size? If you think that's adorable, you should see him drink milk from a saucer. What? I don't even drink milk. Tell her, guys. Isn't Rocket super cute? Oh, yeah. Sometimes we even tie little ribbons with bells to his jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you've never seen a raccoon try to open a refrigerator, you really need to. I ain't a freaking raccoon. The raccoon's temper is quite endearing. <sighs> okay. That's it. I told you. I ain't a freaking raccoon. And I sure as hell ain't freaking cute! Huh. Ah! 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 What the hell are you doing? Plan B, Quill! Guys, less talking, more escaping! Who's the monster now? Dad, what the fuck, Rocket? You heard that, Jackal. She wasn't gonna pay two units for me. So we all get to die because of your brute ego? Ego nothing. Uh, this is about ooh, money. Money that we can no longer collect. Whoa, that was lucky. Nothing about this is lucky. We can lucky. bicker later. We need to keep moving. Where are my drones? I want the Guardians incinerated. What is that? She's cheating. Try something else! <laughs>